Okay, guys, I managed to fix it. So the thing is, uh, the issue was secular dependency. So I was including things that are that weren't that weren't necessary. So, for example, in terms of this class, in terms of composition, this class, the the class that's that's going to take in a reference of this, I should just say for declaration. Why am I doing so? Because if you check in my scanner, scanner implementation file, I don't implement it. I don't call any function inside the IIoT monitor class. So I just do a forward declaration so that it knows that this is a class. And then when I get to the children, child classes, I include the header files. I mean, remember that there's that forward declaration of mo monitor class. So all I need to do here is just include the header file. And then for the base class, I just need to include the header files. There. That's all I need to do. So that was the issue. And then in terms of my IO, IO monitor base class, it remained like this. So I do a forward declaration of the IoT scanner class. And then that's pretty much it. So now in terms of my main, inside of my main, inside of my main, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the parameterized constructor so that I can create two different instances. So before I do any of those, I'm just going to say see out um, creating um, creating what I I O T. Let me just say creating advanced scanner. So I'm going to create an advanced scanner first, and then I'm going to create a simple scanner. So creating simple scanner. So I'm going to use a parameterized constructor, so I'm going to give it defaults. So I need to specify the dimension. So I'm just going to say it's 25 by 25 rows and the columns. And then the IoT sensor, remember that this is a reconstruction. So I must provide default, I must provide values, right? So how do I provide these values? I'm going to do this. Instead of having to declare it and then pass it, I'm just going to put use curly braces and then specify the values in that specific order. Remember that when it's true, it's an advanced scanner. So I'm going to put true and then comma, uh, followed by the temperature, right? So remember, this is just default. These are just default values. OK. Uh, I don't have to look for it this side. Let me look for it inside of my monitor class. So it's temperature, humidity, pressure, and intensity. So it's temperature. It's still between 0 and 50, right? So I'm just going to say 45.5. That's just the default value. Uh, humidity, just 40. Let me just use 40. And then for the pressure, I'll also use some value. So 32.5, something like that. And then for the last value, which is the intensity, it's between 10,000 and 30,000. And then it's a double, so I'm just going to use 18,000. Something like this dot three, four, some. Some weird value. And then I'm going to call the scan. As usual to scan. My function. And then. I output the string representation of it. And then I do the very same thing here below and then instead of passing through the pass for so that it create it uses the simple scan and then that's all i have to do here and then i just build and run um 
Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Oh no, this is not. Oh, this is about is active. No, it's, this is is active. So by default, they said it's going to be true. So the last parameter is the one that provides that tells the user whether this is going to be a advanced scanner or simple scanner. As you can see in our constructor, it's this value, the last parameter, that's the Boolean. I forgot that the one that's inside here is just is active. So by default, they say it should be active. So I'm just going to build and run. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, OK, the objects are the same. I shouldn't name them the same. So I'm just going to say OBJ monitor simple. Then this one be OBJ monitor advanced because it uses the advanced scan. Then I replace this and I replace that. And then I copy this, replace that, replace that. Then I build and run. And then here are my scanners. This is when I'm using the advanced scanner. And then this is when I'm using the simple scan. And then that's all you needed to do. There's the output. And that's it. Just let me know if you have any questions about the these practicals.